Certain calendar dates will always be connected to specific, significant weather events in the minds of Pennsylvanians. There was that week in June 1972 with Hurricane Agnes, the superstorm of March 1993, and the blizzard of January 1996. And then there's today, May 31st, which has historically brought a disproportionate share of dangerous weather to the state. The stormy reputation of May 31st started in 1889 in Johnstown, at that time a growing steel town of 30,000 residents, but vulnerable to flooding because it was built on a floodplain at the fork of two rivers. Increasing the threat was a poorly maintained earthen dam about 15 miles up the Connemaw Valley that held back a lake with millions of tons of water. On the afternoon of May 31st, 1889, after five to 10 inches of rain had fallen overnight, the dam failed sending a fast-moving wall of water down the narrow valley into the city, leveling everything in its path. About 2,200 people died as much of downtown Johnstown was destroyed in the deadliest inland flood in U.S. history. Nearly a century later, in 1985, came the worst tornado outbreak on record in Pennsylvania, again on the last day of May. An approaching cold front spawned a vicious squall line of supercell thunderstorms, that produced 21 tornadoes in the Commonwealth, resulting in 65 fatalities, more than 700 injuries, and almost $400 million in damage. Seven of the tornadoes were rated F4, with winds of more than 200 miles per hour, and one that formed in Ohio and crossed into Pennsylvania was ranked F5. That tornado was on the ground for an hour and tore through Wheatland in Mercer County, with winds estimated at 300 miles per hour making it the strongest tornado on record in the state. One of the F4 tornadoes in central Pennsylvania was on the ground for nearly 70 miles, at one point leveling trees at the rate of 30,000 per minute. Without question, May 31st, 1985, was the worst tornado day in recorded Pennsylvania history. 13 years later, in 1998, again on May 31st, another outbreak of more than 20 tornadoes hit the state. Three of the twisters reached F3 status, with winds in excess of 150 miles per hour. The most damaging developed just east of Mount Davis, the highest point in the state in Somerset County, and went through the community of Salisbury on a path half a mile wide. Another F3 devastated the north, south, north side of the Borough of Lyons, near Redding in Berks County, causing seven injuries and damaging or destroying about 40 homes. Timely warnings limited the 1998 tornado outbreak to just one fatality. I don't think May 2017 in Pennsylvania will be remembered for the weather on its last day, but rather for the month as a whole, cooler, cloudier, and wetter than average in most places. Are we in for a pattern change? We'll have the extended forecast next.